Here, Bunny. Ah, Julia, I am so sorry to bother you right now, but I really need your help. Do you remember my cousin Angela? Vaguely. She is in the middle of this divorce right now. It is so ugly. Bunny, if she needs an attorney... Oh, that's the thing. Should... That's the thing right there. That's the thing. See, she found out that her husband is paying off her attorney. Now, Julia, I wouldn't bother you normally, but she really has to have someone that she can trust. Plus, you being a woman, I think that would help things. It's not a good time for me to do... You'd be like paid that. real well. It's not the money, Bunny. It'd only take like two days of your time. Oh, wait a minute. That's perfect. What? So you could work all day, and by night you'd be so exhausted you wouldn't be able to think. It's just what you need. All right. I, uh, I suppose I could. Fabulous. Well, fabulous. Uh, why don't you give me your cousin's number? Oh, you're not going to need a number. I've got a plane waiting to fly you straight to her. I, Bunny, I can't just pick up like that and leave. I of have a course child you I... can, Mrs. Cobb, and I'll look after Samantha. Don't worry about it. What the hell? Uh, I'll go pack. I'm not usually this spontaneous. It's good to be spontaneous once in a while. Angela's really going to appreciate this, Julia. Well, somebody is. I don't know what Mason's got in mind, but it better be good. Ah, you might as well sit right here, huh? All right. Are you certain that your cousin didn't sign any prenuptial agreement? Without a doubt. And she has proof that a lawyer was bribed? Well, that's your job, right? All right. What's his name? Who? Her attorney. Bailey. Bailey. All right, we'll subpoena him right away. What about her husband's attorney? What about him? His name. Barnum. Excuse me, I gotta go check something. Barnum and Bailey Bunny? Are you sure that this is right? Barnum, Bailey and Bunny send their regrets. Not even... It's a little late to change flights. Looks to me like we're stuck together. Where the hell is this plane going? It doesn't matter. I'm sorry I had to hijack you. It was the only way I could get you to listen to me. I thought that I made it clear to you that I wasn't interested in listening to you, Mason. Please, Julia, I have to convince you that whatever there was between Sasha and me is over. You don't get it, do you? I don't give a damn whether it's over or not. That's not the point. That is the point. Why do you think I wanted to renew our vows? Oh, exactly why, to solve your own guilt. Julia, I love you. Touch me, you keep your hands to yourself! I remember when you wouldn't say that to me, and I remember thinking how much that would mean to me if you did. <laughs> it's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sure that it is true. I I'm sure that you do love me right now. I'm sure that you loved me before you disappeared last summer. But see, you're like one of those people who's lost his, his short-term memory. As long as I'm standing in the same room with you, then I'm the only woman in your heart. But God forbid I should leave the room or you should leave town. It doesn't matter what's in your heart because you follow your zipper. As despicable as you behaved, Mason, I, I, I probably would have gotten over this. The fact that you slept with her was almost the least offensive thing that you did. The fact that you put me through hell and you lied to me about it. See, that means that I am living with a man who doesn't honor me and I can't trust you. You have no excuses this time. You were drinking. No amnesia, no split personality. You did it. You did it! And you'll do it again! No, I won't. The pathetic thing is, as you probably mean that, I I'm sure you even believe that. See, I know that it's a lie. Believe me, this was not part of my plan. What's happening? Something about a broken hydraulic line. He's trying to maintain control over the plane, but he's losing power rapidly. So we're supposed to jump? Or pray. I choose both. I don't believe this. You think I like it? This is my second plane crash inside of six months. I'm never getting on an airplane again. Here, put this on. If you get out of this alive, I'm going to kill you. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me have that. You take this one. Why? Never mind. Just do it. This chute doesn't open. It's all right. What do you mean it's all right? I can stay on the plane. Maybe we can crash land it somewhere. Oh, are you 
stay on the plane, I stay on the plane. This is no time to get no... Oh, look who's talking. We're either going to jump together or we're going to crash together. Pick one. I guess we'll jump. Come on, we're losing altitude fast. No one's ever going to find us in those mountains. The pilot has already radioed our location to the Santa Barbara airport. They're sending out a search party right away. Come on. We'll land, they'll find us in an hour or so. We'll be back with Samantha before you know it. You really believe that, huh? Have I ever lied to you? We're going to be just fine. Just hang on tight. This could be a bumpy ride. We're together. 